cool. Uh, today, I think we're going to go ahead and take out this drone port, the second one. Uh, it's the one that's next to the drone base, so I'm probably going to have to neuter the drone base and uh, exhaust its supply of drones in order to safely take that one down. Um, I put up a couple of screens here just to kind of give a list of, just as an experiment to kind of uh, track what all needs to be done. Um, I might do this in some of the other ones. Uh, just because it's a good visual. Um, the other thing I did off camera is I took like an hour or so and uh, I got rid of all the deposits. I've completely mined out the moon. So there are no deposits remaining. Uh, only took me about an hour, maybe an hour and a half tops. Although I'm pretty sure it only took me about an hour. So uh, this is the drone port I'm going after, uh, right here next to the drone base. And then afterwards, I'll probably do a time lapse, and I need to clean this one up and take that one down. Um, drone port one has been cleared; have completely taken it down to the ground, and not gonna get too pushed about the drone base because <laughs> it's gonna respawn. Uh, and then I'll probably do an episode where I go and get the crashed capital vessel. Um, I had gotten enough resources out of that last drone port uh, that I was able to make the laser drills. So I put six of those on here and that made pretty quick work out of the um, getting everything mined. That's probably why I was able to do it in like an hour. Uh, it'll probably take me a little bit longer with the manual drills, but uh, not too terribly bad. But the laser the laser mining uh, makes, makes it really, really fast. So, uh, let's go ahead and... Yeah, I also made a multi-turret for the, the HV here, so when I go to clean that up, I'll use a multi-turret this time. It should speed things up a bit. So, let's get that filled, that going. Looks like we're good for ammunition. And another thing I'm going to want to get resources for is I updated my shipping warehouse, so it now has this red markings all the way around it, and I also added some lights to it to kind of help out and I also colorized some of the top. Uh, I'll show all that to you with the next one that I drop down. Uh, the other thing while I was doing that, and I did that in creative, um, the other thing I did was I went and created a, a new SV uh, specifically for this series. I probably will use it in the next Iron Man as well. Um, this essentially is a truck SV. Uh, it's equipped with um, a uh, warp drive and it's got tons of cargo space. Uh, it's essentially for taking stuff up to the CV and for getting started to get into the nearby planets so that I can get Sathium to get a CV parts uh, started. So uh, I want to go around and when I do my cleanup I'm going to dump a bunch of those parts in here to get this made up. So without further ado, let's go ahead and ding that drone base. so that we can do that drone port. We'll see you there.
Okay. Drone base is effectively neutered for the moment. I must have already shot up all the drones. Alright, we got a little pea shooter here. I should have checked to make sure I was fully, fully armed with ammunition here. Don't have that many rockets. Okay. Well. Blow open the front door. Oh, jeez. We should park closer. I think that's that troop transport sitting on the pad. Okay. Alright. Alright, let's see what we got here. I know there was some... Um, yeah, trap doors. And let's go across the room here. thinking those spawners don't work. Because that should have dropped something. You would think I would know this. Yeah, I think those spawners are broken. Uh, let's see here. Let's use this gun. Let's see if I remember right, there's turrets on this side. Helps to reload before I need it. I think that got them both. Okay. Reload. 
reloaded. That's reloaded. Go ahead and clean this out. Get this reloaded. That's a waste of ammunition. I don't need to do that. I don't even know what that. Oh. Aha. Uh -huh. That's unfortunate. I think this base is broken. That's right, there's trap doors there. <laughs> okay. Sink. I think those guys actually spawned, however, because they were trapped, uh, they actually despawned. It's a game mechanic. If a critter or Xerox or whatever gets stuck, uh, it'll despawn them. Okay. Well, that was stupid. I was actually wanting that. Okay. Stuff like this is good. Uh, because it'll give parts. In fact, that's a tier one, which I think tier one generators have sesquicium and that sort of stuff. Let's see, base, tier one, flux coils. Takes flux, flux coils. So let's go ahead and pull up the blueprints, send that to factory. Oh, I only need a little bit more copper. Let's see, we don't need that. Don't need that. Alrighty, it's going to be picky about it. Don't need that. Don't really need that or that. Got silicon. Things gonna be choosy with me. Let's see. Now that's got common parts. That has common parts. How about the generator? Generator, motors, matrix. It's got flux coils too. Well, <sighs> plastic, sense ores. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm gonna have to offload a bunch of this stuff. Let's see what all we got here. CV. Cannon turret. I don't think that has. Yeah, cannon turret has normal parts. Oh. I, pro I think I lost some good stuff. Okay, I need to empty my inventory before I do any more of that. All right. Devices, good box one. Should I keep that on me just in case? that. Alright. Go ahead and pillage this thing. Party turret. And got some good stuff there. Another tier two generator. Let's see here. That's gonna have copper. That should have copper. Those for sure have copper. Alrighty. We're getting there. Almost. So essentially I want to go through here and just grab empty out all the loot boxes and whatnot and then uh, I'll just take the hovercraft with the turret. Oh good night. So close, but so far away. Okay, empty out again.
Ooh. I can get rid of that. And that. And that. Oh, we're good to go. Okay. Oh, that's going to take 41 minutes. Alrighty. Okay, so the rest of this, I'm just going to loot real quick and... Cannot pick up inventory full. Of course it's full. So I'll get all this stuff looted out and then we'll just bring back the HV and finish it off. And we'll also get that uh, Defense 4 taken down too. Okay, I believe that is all she wrote. Because I don't think there's any. Actually, let me take this door. I don't really care about the flares. Okay. And it's probably actually shorter to go this other way. So we head west. So the other good thing about having taken down the drone base is uh, I'm not going to get hammered when I go to do the uh, looting of the place or tearing it down.
Okay, just to get you an idea of what what all we pulled here. Must be all in this back one. So there's all the parts we pulled from tearing down those two bases. And then we got all that loot that you saw from when I pulled um, looted the other. So this place uh, drone port 1's cleared, drone port 2 is now cleared, defense 4 is now cleared. So the only other thing, if I really wanted to, uh, I'd go get the crashed capital vessel, which I might do some other time. Um, I don't know that I necessarily need the parts. I need to build a space station, uh, a shipyard, before I get... Uh, get too carried away with gathering up parts for a CV. Because um, that was one of my other stipulations is I needed to build a shipyard uh, to build a CV. Which that game mechanic hasn't been added in either, which I thought it would, but such is the life of Alphas. And I still got 16 minutes on this, so uh, next episode we'll probably get this spawned in. And we will go, I think, try and decide whether to go to Ninguez or Skillon. Skillon. I could go to the trading outpost. There is a Pentaxid um, a, a Pentaxid asteroid there. Yeah, it might be worthwhile to do that. Ningiz is usually pretty skimpy on resources. Skillon, I've not really done much of Skillon. I know it's a barren planet, but aside from that, I don't know. I need to gather up some more Pentaxid, which I'm already on the moon, so I might as well go ahead and do that. Um, I'll probably do that off camera because that's not exactly very exciting, especially considering um, everything's been defeated on here. <laughs> uh, there's a crash capital vessel. I've noticed that these actually disappear after you log out and log back in. So there's the crash crash capital vessel, there's the drone base, there's a civilian POI, transport hub, and that is pretty much all that is left. Because that's gone, that's gone. Yeah, because that other drone port was over here somewhere. Maybe over here. But anyways. So we're gonna leave it off at that. And we'll see you next time.